Hello, everybody. So where in the Bible here does it say that the Antichrist is going to be a person? Because last time I checked, if you read the book of Ephesians, six, chapter 6, verse 12, it says, We don't battle against mankind. It says we battle against the principalities, the spiritual darkness, rulers of the world, referring to the devil and his demons. And I've already made videos like this before, but anybody who's new to my channel and started watching my videos for the first time, check this out because it's very important you hear this. I'm talking about anybody who's new to the channel. If you just subscribed, welcome to the channel. I appreciate it. They call me Mr. Shoutout because I give shoutouts in my videos and credit where credit is due because you guys deserve it. I've seen some of your content. It's good. Keep it up. If you see my content, you can congratulate me in the comments if you want. That's up to you. That, you know, that's not what this is about. I just want to put that out there. But the Antichrist is not going to be a man. He's going to be an evil spirit who works and serves the devil. And that's someone, that's something you don't need to be listening to. Just because they look like a person doesn't mean they are a person. Demons can manifest. They can take the form and disguise to, to deceive and to fool you and think that it's a person and it's not. Just like the mark of the beast. They want the world to think man did this. Man did not do this. The devil did this. And that's why I don't understand about the lies. The devil, you guys are believing it. You're being deceived. If you if you believe that they're a person, you're being deceived. They're an evil spirit. They're not man. Okay? Just like someone the Christians think there's Christians out there who think that the devil is a snake because he was in disguise as a serpent in the Garden of Eden. He wasn't a snake. He took the form of a snake. That's why I don't understand about these lies, is that the world believes it and they think it's okay. It's not okay. It's wrong. It's deceitful. And if you're believing this, if you believe in the Bible, okay, believe what the word says. Read it. Take it to heart and mind and soul. This is what God created. Man may have wrote it, but God created it. That means it's about God and it's inspired by God. These these Stories in the Bible is because of what God did. So let's forget about the topic of the devil here. Let's go to the God stories. Stories about God. Samson slayed the Philistine soldiers because the Philistines worked for the devil. They were trying to get at God. But God's like, I'm going to use Samson. I'm going to have the Holy Ghost use Samson to get strength in the spirit and slay the Philistines. So God used his spirit, the Holy Ghost... The Spirit of the Lord, the Holy Ghost, to use Samsung to slay them, and he did. Philistines were gone. Zero. Because of the Lord. It wasn't because it was just Samsung. He did his part in it, but God used him to do it. Moses. God used Moses too. To depart the Red Sea and to use the Ten Commandments. That God told him to do it. And he told him to go to Egypt and tell Pharaoh to let the Israelites go and free them from slavery, set them free from sin and slavery. For slavery was made by sin. Pharaoh and his men already committed sin, and they didn't even realize it. They were stubborn. But God used Moses in the book of Exodus in the Old Testament to get things done. It wasn't just Moses did not create the Ten Commandments and the laws. God did. He used Moses to do so. Moses did not have his own strength or his own words. God used him to say it. He told him that he was the Alpha and the Omega. He said, I am the Lord of God. I am your Lord, the Lord our God, God of Abraham and Jacob and all that. Go read all the stories in the Bible. Unless you've already read it, I'm not talking about you. You already know the stories, but if you haven't, go check it out. You can get a copy of it. You can go read it, Google it online, watch videos about it. There's pastors who preach about it too. Go check it out because I have. So, 